Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today what I want to talk to you about is be selfish in the new year. This is a year for being selfish. What does that mean to be selfish? That means put yourself first. Okay. Now, there has been a misconcept out there going on that Focusing on yourself means ignoring your twin flame. That is not exactly true. You may have to ignore the human foibles and character flaws and things like that because you're not here to be an enabler or, or other things. However, the focus has to be on you because the connections are inside you. Now that is exactly the way I started doing my videos in 2014. I'm all about the body and you're going to find that 2019 is very different than 2018 was. 2018 was a gathering in and disentangling. You're still going to be disentangling yourselves. The gestation period of a twin flame is approximately five to six years. So if you've given up if you're talking about giving up, if you're thinking if you should give up, don't give up because you only just started being able to expand the things that you need for holding yourselves together physically. So this is going to have a lot to do with your health. Feel yourself. This means several things. Feel. This is going to mean sensing feeling your emotions, feeling sensations, feeling your body, feeling out what is wrong with you. And when I say something wrong with you, I mean, maybe there's something physical, maybe there's metaphysical things. That's where I come in. I am the metaphysician. Did you know that a lot of twin flames are here to bridge the gap between the material and the ethereal planes? The material and the immaterial, yet you have both. You are both. You are material. You're in a physical body. Your man material world does matter. You can't shut the door on everything because I guarantee you, if your higher self needs you to pay attention to something, you're going to pay attention to it. It's just that simple. Feel yourself, can you? Can you feel you and can you feel your other? Can you not just, can you get beyond feeling aches and pains or painful emotional experiences? If something keeps drifting away from you, can you sense that? Can you feel what you yourself is feeling about it? If things keep collapsing and you cannot sustain it, can you feel out why and what that, what is that? Maybe, maybe not. The majority of people struggle with this. That is why I am here to help. You're going to have to move beyond some of the tools that you've been using. Those tools are usable, but now it's time for more. Your body is what counts. So the other day, I had someone who essentially said, well, why are we here? I mean, really, why are we here? And it's been through a series of very cosmic and galactic events that you're ending up here on Earth. Now, that might sound like science fiction if you try and tell it to your family. Hey, you're from this place, you're from that place, I'm from this place. Your family may not be aware of some of the things you're aware of. They're not going to be until they, too, have their awakenings, which will happen this year for a lot of people. So part of this has been to get some of you to some semblance of safety so that you can continue and do the things you need to do to unify yourselves. That is what union is. It is unification. Why did God split us? You've actually never really been apart, but it's been deep. And this is why it's important to feel. Can you feel? Because when you're able to feel, you'll understand that on some level, somewhere, you actually never have been separated. Yes, there's been things that seem like they separate you, okay? And that goes beyond the fluff of what people say, like, all oh, this is an illusion. It's not an illusion when it hurts. That's real. 
pain is real and I'm here to try to remove the pain. Respect your multidimensional self. You are a being that already existed in several dimensions. You're already multidimensional. You're actually squeezing yourself in here to be here. Why here? Why here? Because the buck stops here. This is where you have an opportunity to be new. You have an opportunity for your do-over. You have an opportunity for purging, healing, and divesting those things that aren't usable for you. Now, what else about this year can you be selfish about? You have to be selfish about the things that you like. You have to be selfish about taking rest for yourself. You have to be selfish about what is healthy for you and what isn't. You have to be selfish about getting your channels open and getting people out of your union. So as much as people would love to say, you know, we're all here to unify, that process has already been in place so that you could ascend from the places you were originating from and to come here. Getting your channels open. Do you even know what those are? You have high heart connections. So part of the reason I'm standing here is to show you. You have a high heart connection here. This has frequently been called your 12th chakra. And by the way, I outline this stuff in detail in my webinars. I have great webinars that I've put on for years that are available pre-recorded for you. You have your 12th chakra here, okay? But your emotional body exists. How many people do you think are clogging it up? Are you wondering why are you having anxiety, nervousness, situations? Oh, we got another situation. You feel the stuff. That's feeling yourself. But can you feel beyond it and can you feel what to do? If you do not know what to do, if the holidays brought you together with people, people who are family, if you've had situations or you're having exes come out of the woodwork, you're feeling agitated, you're feeling nervous, you're not sure why. Where is this coming from? There are parts of you connected. So you yourself, the higher multidimensional self, is actually anchored by these bodies. And yes, this body, although it sounds like a cliche, this body is the vessel for the connection to your soul, to your higher self. You're not just a vessel, though. You are anchoring. And you're not a receptacle to take everybody's garbage either. And that's the thing that can make people feel crazy. They'll say, huh, I must have imagined this or that. I must be crazy. You're not crazy. You're not crazy. So I want to show you something I got in the mail. Came like it's an elevator. And I love it because... The elevator shaft is exactly my analogy for the rod and staff union. I am a rod and staff union. That means we have the way to get to every dimension. And I've spent quite a large part of the last year and a half making those footholds again. You will be making your footholds again to the new dimensional levels. If you don't know what I'm talking about, time to start getting my webinars because there is an educational process with this. Nobody's going to hand you a prototype of a brand new vehicle without a little bit of teaching you about it. It's time to learn. So if you identify as a star seed, or if you identify as being from a certain cosmic place, such as the Pleiades or Sirius or something like that, it's time actually to become familiar with what's here. Because the Palladians, and the Lyrans, they didn't always get along, and that was trouble. That was a situation. And beyond that, there was a lot of pain that came as the result of that. That's a lot of the things that you are becoming healthy about, what has happened at other dimensional levels, in other places, in other timelines. 
So let me show you what this is, okay? It's an elevator that says, yay, you're at a new level. Welcome to Diamond. Your Diamond Light body is granted to you, gifted to you. Those are some of the gifts that Santa Claus brought for the holidays. That's some of the gifts of things that happened in Sirius that at the Lionsgate last year in August we could close the door on. Can you close the door on the things that hurt you? Can you close the door on the people that gave you pain, the other beings, the other angels? Can you get everything out? Do you even want to? Some of you don't want to because you're determined to do this with gathering everybody in. That shows what a big heart you have. But what you need to ask yourself is this. How does it affect my twin flame? Okay? It's going to be like bringing a dinner party home with you where your spouse is unprepared and there's not that much in the court covered. There's just enough for you to. That's another thing to remind you of. Only the essentials. Stick to your essentials in this energy because I'm going to be back with more videos. In fact, I'm going to keep hitting you up with more and more information for this year to help you. I want people to learn about this. In fact, I have ways to get people to um, levels that, you know, gradually they really are, are creating their own experiences. They are creating their new life. So I have a Twin Flame Body webinar coming up uh, starting January 4th. That's in the evening, Friday evening, Sunday morning, Friday evening, Sunday morning, Friday evening, Sunday morning for the next couple weeks. Please have a Twin Flame Causal Body session. This gets your energies moving a lot faster. If you are suffering from addictions, if you are detoxing, let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, you might say goodbye to people, but the true letting go is actually your detox. When you detox, that's the true letting go. That's the thing of when you say, well, I miss them. I miss how that person abused me. At least it was exciting. My life is so boring right now. I miss them when they were drunk. There was always something happening. Now it's so boring. Yeah, well, with that came a lot of pain that your body wants to shift out of the pain, detox from it, and get you healthy so that your health and well-being and your sense of balance isn't predicated on someone else's hot mess. Maybe you feel like a hot mess. Okay? A lot of hot messes were dropped into this planet here. And it's up to you to do your part and get it out of you too. Okay? Both of you. And I know what people do with this. They just kind of throw up their hands and say, well, my twin's a hot mess. Start doing something. Okay? Start taking advantage of the help that is here and learn. This webinar is actually a great program I have going on. It is your Twin Flame Body. Twin Flame Body, Twin Flame Causal Body Session. Because this is going to go beyond the reading. If you want a reading to find out what your twin is thinking, they're thinking of you. I will just answer that one right now. Your Twin Flame is always thinking of you. Your twin flame is always connected to you. Your twin flame is always being dragged behind your pickup truck with you at the driver's seat. Take the wheel and drive yourself home. Respect your multidimensional self. Now some further information for you. A time of miracles and dreams, your universal and cosmic subtle body connections. Okay. These are actually two webinars. There's a part one and a part two. The reason is there's so much information in there. This year is going to be for getting your cosmic subtle body connections ready, your cosmic connections ready, your dimensional connections ready. And let me tell you, it is quite a doozy because I was already through it starting from a year and a half ago. Starting from 2017 
into 2018, I was sick five times, sick five times, and I don't get sick. I, it just happens. And not only that, some of the other things that are telltale things, parasites, like little bugs, um, it could be anything. It could be intestinal parasites. Do you have the twin flame stomach flu? That's not a stomach flu. That is something else. Do you feel all liquidy here, gurgly? Do you feel like valves are opening? Are you having pain on the sides of your rib cage? Are you having chest pains, heart pains? Are you aching here? Are your shoulders aching? Do you know how to surf in these energies? If you do not, it is time to join my webinar. If you feel like it's something that you're not really sure, like, hey, I don't really know what to do, I simplify it for you with guidance. That's what we do in this webinar, Twin Flame Body webinar. Okay, I give you, I, we do have some questions and answers. There's a lot of people that want to know, ta-da, what about my mission? Well, what about your mission? What about your mission? Okay, I don't really like to call it mission. I like to call it the calling of your heart. How does your love together, how does the love you share want to express itself in the world? How? This is what it's important to get your body clear so that you can feel yourself and say, Okay, well, we would like to do this because you are always doing it together regardless of if that person is by your side or not. And by the way, 90% of people, if you're waiting for a human being to show up to start it up, don't wait. Get it started. Get it started. Because that person, you're not doing everything simultaneously at the same time. That's not how twin flames help each other. Okay, if you have a business partner, more than likely it's going to be a different dynamic. And that's another thing that's changing are the dynamics of relationships, male-female dynamics, family dynamics, employee-boss dynamics, even out in the public. Pay attention to the stuff and be selfish. Steer clear of court cases. I talk to a lot of people who pick up a court case. Do you know how to get that shifted? Do you know how it should get moved? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But it all originates somewhere. And I can tell you this, it originates in the lower chakras. But if it's stressing you here, pay attention and have a session with me. And I am all about your help. In fact, I'm going to just say this. Um, I had a very rough 2018, uh, particularly in the beginning. The whole year was a series of uh, just things that kept happening that I kept having to barrel through because there's only way one way to do this and it's through. It's not, it's, it, but you have to know how to, okay? You have to know when to take your oars out of the water. You have to know when to you know, swim frantically or fly, you have to know those things and you have to know how. You have to know how to surf the energies, okay? You have to know how to get yourself in quantum time. The way to get yourself in quantum time is through your light body. It's not with your mind. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's time to come and learn because doing this with your mind and nothing against tarot that's one of the tools but if all you're doing is getting you a reading do you even know that within the tarot when someone is properly trained they can tell you things about your body the tarot does include that information but a lot of readings don't especially a lot of public readings they don't include that information they know nothing about the body they're dealing with the emotions which is only one aspect of you and when it gets down to the body, if it goes too deep, it starts to become physical and then you're talking about surgery and doctors. So there are two levels of this. One is get rid of the stuff. And then the second part is maintain yourself. You have to know the body to maintain yourself properly because if you're not going to learn it now, you'll find out that you have to learn it down the line. We have, a, uh, we have several 
uh, galactic level events that are going to affect you this year. So this, is, this isn't even about Earth astrology or Earth this, Earth that. Earth is seen from the solar system. This again is going to be cosmic and multidimensional uh, aspects of yourself. Why? Because all of the sparkling facets of you have to come into play here for being who you really are. That's what you're here for. Being who you really are, being two of you as individuals and as one unit. One unit. One. Okay? Why? Because, yay, you're at a new level. So thanks so much for watching. The links are down below. My website is www.twinflamesmerch.com. And I have another website, twinflamebody.com, that is um, currently getting tweaked. You can email me at twinflamesmerch at gmail.com. And all of this is very valid information for now. The links for this are down below. The link for this is down below. And the links for these are down below. So I hope to see you there. It's been a pleasure talking to everyone over the past few years, getting to know you, getting to know about where you're from, all of the things that have gone to make up you and your personality, everything that flavors your life. Everything from how your grandparents were like. What's your ancestry? How do you like to eat? What things do you love? That's actually what I like to hear from people. I like to hear, what do you love? What you love is actually the basis of what's your mission. So when we start hammering it out in a session, and you talk about what you love, okay, that's when it can start shifting. That is where... My ninth dimensional self has the connections to connect and assist in a session that is for connecting your subtle bodies, your cause of body, which is how you create it. I have beyond ninth dimensional, but if you get people who've gone from the third dimension to the fourth and helped people there, whether it's shamans or readers or something like that, and then you have other people who are going from the fourth and now to the fifth. There are connections beyond that to help people make their higher dimensional connections for their multidimensional self. And that is a part of what I do. This is uh, for your other levels, for your creative levels, for your higher dimensional levels. Why? Because you were originally from there. You have to make the foothold again. So there's, there's a lot of great stuff in my webinars. I encourage you to get it. Get it. You won't be disappointed. You will find it so informative that you'll have to play it again a couple times uh, because there's a lot of information to take in. There are tools in there and useful information as well as what will be on my website. I also help people with what supplements would be helpful for you to take. So thanks so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.